Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Incompetent Unboxings. This here is this Ma 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 Mary Skelter, finally, collector's edition. I don't know why they spelt it like that. I guess they're just trying to be hip, all right? Whoa, it's, it's whatever, okay? It's, it's whatever. <sighs> so, as you can see, oh, uh... Collector's edition comes in three separate packages. Uh, they do have physical dimensions, so if you're curious, yes, this is a physical edition. This piece here uh, looks like it contains three hardcover books by the feel of it. This one here has got to have like all the extras, the soundtrack and stuff. This piece here obviously has the game. Now we're not going to waste much time here. Let's get into the first thing, the thing I'm most excited about, the three books. Now you want to be very careful, you use a very, very long blade. That way you don't get your fingers anywhere close to it. Alright, so let's... Alright, so first things first, yes that was wrapped in plastic, but it is wrapped in plastic yet again. There is this neat little slip case over here, which has a picture of our main character on the front, and our secondary main character on the back. In the game's very characteristic pink. The actual box itself, same character here, obviously with a background now, same character there. And on the side, just says Mary Skelter. But, looks really nice. Feels really nice. And the three books, so we got one for Mary Skelter Nightmares, Mary Skelter 2, and Mary Skelter Finally, the finale to the Mary Skelter series. So I have been curious if this is the same book that came with the Mary Skelter Nightmare Collector's Edition. And if memory serves correct, it definitely appears to be. Luckily, I do have the Mary Skelter 1 Collector's Edition on hand, so we can look to make sure. Okay, so this here was the first Collector's Edition, and this here is the book that Mary Skelter Nightmare originally came with. 103 pages soft cover, some art throughout. Now this one, hard cover. 108 pages, it looks like they might have added more than story 14, story 15, so the new one actually has an additional chapter. That's pretty cool. They actually expanded the book, plus gave it a hard cover. This is, uh, this is now the best version of this book around, but let's just make sure. Yeah, it still has all the art in there. That's pretty wild. I was actually expecting, like, basically a completely duplicate book, but no, this one, uh, it's pretty much better in every way. Okay, so this one covers the events of the first game, so it stands to reason Mary Skelter 2 covers the events of the second game. Luckily, I do have the collector's edition for this one on hand, so let's take a look at how that looks. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's put that back. Yeah, so I did not get the collector's edition for Mary Skelter 2. It was limited run only, and I uh, definitely missed out on that one. So because I haven't played Mary Skelter 2, and I'm not going to buy a digital download, this book is going to have to be my only way to catch up on the game. Uh, you know, besides what's actually included in Mary Skelter 3 itself. Uh, so yeah, just like the first book, uh, full-on novel, lots of art, not nearly as many pages though. You see, this one has 56, the last was at 108. Now that was the last chapter started on page 108. 131 pages total. And let's see the Mary Skelter Three book. Obviously, if you haven't played the game, you're not gonna want me to flip through this too much. So, uh, just try not to read the words. Uh, 59 pages. That's when the last chapter starts. It is a total of... Actually, 59 pages. Unless you count, well, 60 pages. There's a tiny bit of text on the back. Uh, like before, we got some art. We got the actual novel itself. None of the books got as big as the first one, and maybe that's just because the first one had more to do in terms of setting up the universe. I don't know, I haven't I haven't read these two yet. I, I am going to read the second one before I play the third game. But uh, yeah, those are the hardcover books. Oh my god! Easily um, one of the coolest pack-ins I think this collector's edition comes with. Wow! Now, let's move on to the other box, which has all the other extras. My as soon as I get this... God. Piece of shit. No! Ah, easy as pie. Okay, other box. Oh, oh. 
Okay, uh, uh. once again, long knife. Gotta make sure you keep it away from your fingers to make a nice little seam. Where am I gonna make a nice seam? All right, right here, down the side. So on the front of the box, really big character splash. Um, on the back, I have no sweet clue what that is. Looks pretty grotesque, uh, and it looks pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there's not much here on the sides, just another title. Yep, just continue design on those sides. So let's open up, just lifts off here. All right, so to start, we have this little card here. Number 20, September 2021, not sure how many cards there are. This is just Beachy on it. From Ify's online store, which is not actually where I bought this. I bought it from a third party seller. Uh, VGP, I believe is where it was. This here appears to be like a small poster. It's very, very glossy, which means the light is gonna reflect off it pretty badly. It's the same character splash we've seen on the front, just a tiny bit extended. It's a nice poster. Um, probably, like, I don't have space to put something like this up, so it's probably not going up. Uh, Steelbook. Yes, I actually forgot that this was in here. So, Nintendo Switch Steelbook. So, there we got one character on the front. Uh, on the back, another character. Don't actually recognize them from this still, but it's also been a long time since I played the first one. Maybe they weren't in it, maybe they were. Inside, we got more character portraits on the back. That actually looks really nice. Uh, the game, of course, is um, in a separate case. The steelbook is optional. Now, under this, we have the soundtrack. And this is not at all a small soundtrack. Long Blade. Ooh, yeah. All right, so there we are, Mary Skelter Trilogy official soundtrack. So it has songs from all three games in it. We go on the back here, we got the credits over here, 22 tracks, let's check out the inside. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, 22 tracks, three discs, wow. Like I was impressed with the last unboxing we done, which had two discs. This one has three. So there's Mary Skelter finally, official soundtrack one, Mary Skelter Nightmares, which if we look in the case, the track listing for it is right here on the side. Then we have right below that, the track listing for Mary Skelter two, which the disc is right here. Let's get a better look at that. Mary Skelter finally, official soundtrack two, out of focus, why you doing that? There, Mary Skelter finally, official soundtrack two. Don't fully understand the art, looks like it's just another part of the prison. Back in the case, Mary Skelter finally, official soundtrack three. This really does look like a, a sort of grand finale. Uh, would have been a good name for the game, finale by the way. Uh, and there's the art that goes behind it. Now there is no plastic shell behind this part, which is kind of an odd choice, but like, I'm not really gonna complain, they gave us three discs for Christ's sake. If they have to cut a penny here or there for a little bit of plastic, so be it. That there, ladies and gentlemen, is the soundtrack, and that has got to be one of the best soundtrack packings I've seen. And here, we have the last extra packin, Mary Skelter Finally Official Art Book. There it is from the back, on the side, sticking with the same sort of color scheme we've seen for the title on the front, and inside, uh, we have, let's see, there's a developer QA at the very back. So we got characters, gallery, concept, developer QA. The developer QA is probably the thing I'm most interested in. Ooh, oh, there's a crunch. You could tell that was like just freshly printed. Hardcover, of course. See how many pages total we got here. 59, yeah, I need 50. I can't, I can't look at the story CGs. This is the problem. I haven't played the game yet, so I cannot actually look at these story CGs. Uh, we can look at some of the characters, and the art for them looks fine, absolutely, absolutely fine. So the characters go on for, jeez, we got a lot of characters in this one, until page 15, then we hit the concept art, which begins again with some of the uh, character splashes and promo pieces. Uh, yeah, some of the locations. Grave Jail Tower. That looks like one of the opening areas from Mary Skelter Nightmares. I'm wondering if it comes back here, or if this book also has some promo art or concept art from the first game. Looks like some enemy designs here. Yeah, more, uh, I guess that's maybe a special enemy design? I'm not too sure. Skipping through a bit. So it doesn't look like much of the concept art is in color, which is fine. Not not a lot of concept art is usually done in color. Uh-oh. Not gonna get me today, YouTube. And then we go into the developer QA, which I'm super interested in reading through later. But yeah, there it is. Mary Skelter Finale. 
I, I mean, I mean, finally, uh, Mary Skelter, finally. That's obviously what I truly, completely believe it to be. Official art book. I'm not uh, joking around about calling it finally. That is definitely what it's called. And the last thing, of course, the game itself. There it is. Mary Skelter, finally. Idea Factory. Uh, so... <laughs> I have a weird history with Idea Factory. I don't usually think many of their games are actually that good, but I did really like Mary Skelter Nightmare and kind of bummed I missed out on the second one. But here we are, try to catch up on the series and hopefully the best way I can without having to buy the game outright. So the dungeon crawling RPG trilogy reaches its stunning conclusion. Will the Blood Maidens finally get their happily ever after? Relive all events from the first two installments with before stories. So they do have something to catch you up. Plus explore more with the bonus romantic visual novel. That's a pretty, that's a pretty neat extra too. Zap between groups of characters and work together to escape the living jail. So I'm guessing with the extremely large character roster, you're probably going to be switching teams and parties quite a lot as you go through the dungeons. Stay alert for invincible nightmares and their larval swarms. The nightmares were actually one of my favorite things from Mary Skelter Nightmare. I just really like their design and they, they could be properly terrifying. Uh, at, at times they could get you into a broken state, kind of like soft lock you, but hopefully they worked that out by now, but it is idea fact. Factory, so we'll see. Uh, nothing extra on the side, your standard Switch game, so let's pop her open. Is that literally the same thing that was on the back? Wait a minute. What's the difference? What is the different? Besides the part that says back inlay, exactly what is the difference between these two parts? My oh, oh, I see it. I see it. Okay. Uh, for those who didn't catch it, I mean, you guys probably knew before I did, but let's, uh, keep your eye on this character, and yeah, so there's the difference. I'm guessing that one couldn't be on store shelves. Not really much of note there, it's the same kind of grotesque monster we've seen on the back of the first box, or rather, actually on the back of the second box there. So yeah, not too much new there. So let's get her back in the case and call this a day. That there is the Mary Skelter Finally Collector's Edition. This is, this is really cool though. The three books, that is, that is just awesome. So yeah, this is a pretty cool set. Pretty cool value. Looking forward to reading the books. Really, really good show on the soundtrack. Uh, it's nice that the steel case was a extra. The only complaint I honestly have about all this, I wish this came all in one box. I hate having to keep all of these things separate and, and fit them on my shelf in like, I, I don't know, what, what pieces are even gonna go on my shelf? Like, I, I don't wanna separate these, but like, <sighs> at, at least they're all like, you know, square boxes. I have some collector's editions with like loose bagged items that just came alongside it. And that was, that's definitely way worse than what's going on here, but I wish it was all in one nice big solid box. Other than that, that's a pretty incredible value. So good job, Idea Factory, Compile Heart, VG Plus who uh, sold it to me. Um, really looking forward to playing the game and um, I hope my thoughts on it are as positive as they were towards the first. But that's gonna be all today, guys. If you like the video, uh, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you can. Links to all of my socials are in the description below. So, fuck. See ya. Peace. <laughs>